नमस्कार दोस्तों वेलकम टू सरल सोशियोलॉजी टुडेज टॉपिक इज डिवीजन ऑफ लेबर गिवन बाय इमाइल दरखिम दरखिम्स कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिवीजन ऑफ लेबर एक्सप्लोर्स हाउ सोसाइटीज ऑर्गेनाइज एंड मेंटेन सोशल ऑर्डर थ्रू द अलोकेशन ऑफ टास्क एंड रोल अमंग इंडिविजुअल्स Initially in simple societies individuals share similar tasks leading to a cohesive and homogeneous division of labor however as societies evolve they undergo a transition towards more complex and specialized form of division of labor In simpler societies characterized by mechanical solidarity individuals perform similar tasks and uh, share common values and norms this uniformity nurtures social cohesion and solidarity as everyone contribute to the collective well-being on shared understandings as uh, societies progress and uh, become more complex they experience a shift toward organic solidarity in these modern industrial societies division of labor becomes more specialized with individuals occupying diverse roles and uh, performing distinct tasks this specialization arises from the increasing interdependence among individuals where each person relies on others for goods services and support let's understand mechanical solidarity and organic solidarity with a little bit more contrast now first is mechanical solidarity now this form of solidarity is characterized by traditional pre-industrial societies where social cohesion is based on shared values norms and beliefs in such societies the division of labor is minimal and individuals perform similar tasks for example in agricultural communities everyone may engage in farming activities leading to a sense of collective identity and solidarity based on common cultural practices and traditions now organic solidarity organic solidarity emerges in modern industrial societies characterized by complexity and diversity here social cohesion arises from the interdependence of individuals with diverse roles and functions the division of labor is complex with individuals specializing in different occupations based on their skills and expertise for instance in a modern city people have diverse professions such as doctors teachers engineers uh, architects uh, lawyers and they rely on each other for goods and uh, services fostering a sense of uh, mutual dependence and uh, cooperation durkin has also analyzed the functions of division of labor the very first is social integration division of labor plays a very crucial role in fostering social cohesion and uh, solidarity by interconnecting individuals through specialized roles when individuals perform diverse tasks and rely on each other for goods and services they develop a sense of mutual dependence and collective identity for example in a community where people have distinct occupations but collaborate for common goals such as farming or trade division of labor strengthens social bonds and promote unity next is economic efficiency specialization within the division of labor enhances economic productivity and efficiency by allowing individuals to 
focus on tasks they are skilled at or have comparative advantage in division of labor maximizes output while minimizing resource wastage for instance in a factory setting workers specialize in specific tasks like assembly quality control or logistics leading to streamline production processes and a higher overall output and the last function of division of labor is social differentiation division of labor leads to the differentiation of social roles and statuses contributing to social complexity and diversity as individuals specializes in different occupations they acquire distinct roles and positions within society based on their expertise skills and contributions this differentiation creates a diverse array of social roles from laborers and professionals to managers and leaders enriching the social fabric with a variety of perspectives and talents furthermore durkheim's concept of anomy sheds light on the consequences of a breakdown in the division of labor or a lack of social integration or social regulation now anomy refers to a state of normlessness or moral confusion that occurs when there is a breakdown in social norms and regulations it arises when individuals experience a disconnect between their aspirations and the means available to achieve them leading to a feeling of aimlessness alienation and disillusionment anomy can emerge due to various factors including rapid social change economic instability and disruption in the division of labor when traditional norms and values are undermined and new social structures fail to provide clear guidance and regulation individuals may feel adrift and uh, uncertain about their place in society anomy can have detrimental effects on individuals and society as a whole it may lead to increased rate of deviance such as crime substance abuse and other forms of antisocial behaviors as individuals seek alternative means to pursue their goals moreover anomy can undermine social cohesion and solidarity eroding trust and cooperation among members of society in contemporary society anomy may manifest in various forms such as rising rates of depression anxiety and social dislocation for instance during periods of economic recession or political upheaval individuals may experience heightened feeling or uncertainty and disillusionment exacerbating existing social tensions and inequality durkheim's concept of division of labor is vividly illustrated through examples from both traditional and modern societies in traditional agricultural communities such as a Uh, rural villages in india individuals often engage in similar tasks related to farming and uh, subsistence agriculture for instance member of a farming community may collectively cultivate crops tend to livestock and uh, harvest agricultural produce this shared involvement in agricultural activities fosters a sense of mechanical solidarity where individuals bond over shared traditions values and communal labor each member contributes to the collective well-being of the community reinforcing social cohesion and mutual dependence in modern industrial societies like urban centers in india exhibit a high degree of specialization and diversity in occupational roles 
individuals pursue distinct professions and career paths such as doctors, engineers, teachers, entrepreneurs and artists, each contributing to the complex web of social and economic life. This specialization gives rise to organic solidarity where individuals rely on each other's specialized skills and expertise to meet diverse needs and objectives. For example, a doctor depends on the services of engineers to maintain medical equipments, while teachers rely on farmers to produce food for their sustenance. The interconnectedness of diverse occupational roles in modern societies underscores the importance of organic solidarity in sustaining social order and progress. Furthermore, in uh, Durkheim's analysis, mechanical solidarity corresponds to societies characterized by what he termed repressive law, while organic solidarity is associated with restitutive law. Mechanical solidarity describes the social cohesion found in uh, traditional pre-industrial societies where individuals share similar values, norms and beliefs. In these societies, social order is maintained through repressive law, which relies on punitive measures to uphold collective morality and punish deviant behaviors. For example, in tightly knit agricultural communities where everyone follows the same customs and traditions, any deviation from societal norms is met with harsh punishment to preserve social order and cohesion. Organic solidarity, uh, on the other hand, characterized modern industrial societies marked by diversity, specialization and interdependence. In these societies, social cohesion arises from the mutual reliance and cooperation among individuals with diverse roles and functions. Restitutive law is the legal system associated with organic solidarity, emphasizing the restoration of social equilibrium and the resolution of conflicts through restitution or compensation. For example, in a complex urban setting where individuals have varied occupations and lifestyles, legal mechanisms focus on resolving disputes and uh, restoring relationships through compensation or restitution rather than punitive measures. Finally, friends, in essence, Durkheim's concept of division of labor offers a comprehensive framework for comprehending how societies maintain social order through the specialization and interdependence of individuals. It underscores the dynamic interplay between social structure, solidarity and the organization of labor which collectively shape collective life. By outlining the transition from mechanical solidarity in traditional societies to organic solidarity in modern ones, Durkheim illuminates the evolution of social cohesion and integration. The concept clarifies how the division of labor, whether minimal or complex, influences the bond that tie individuals together within a society.